Hello, everyone. It's funny seeing you here. Yes. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, uh, and welcome to yet another fall bolo video. What's that Wendy Williams thing? Another week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Another week. Here we are. Yes. Another week. We are here for more bolos. This time we have moved on to the category of boots, which I am quite excited for. I like shoes. And or something chocolate. very, very interesting. So, so far this morning I've made two sets and both sales were boots. And one of the brands of boots that I sold is actually my first brand on this list. And that was not planned before. It that. just so happened <sighs> to happen. So it truly it is so a bolo. I love that. It truly is a bolo because I'm out here selling it. Yes, we Actively are. Actively and I was going to say consistently, but it was the only time I've ever had this brand. I mean, isn't one sale a consistent sale? I guess. <laughs> we have reached the end of our fall categories for bolos, which uh -huh. makes me really sad. I remember starting... It's crazy that, like, we already went through them all. I know. I remember and starting this like... back at the beginning of September and being like... Or it was, like, the end of August, being like, is yeah. it too early for fall? And now we're at the end of the bolo categories, which is just traumatic for me. I remember so... trying to, like, come up with these lists. Oh. We We've done sweaters first. That mm -hmm. was like end of August, early September. We have done jackets slash coats, which we probably will do another one of for like winter like coat at coats. some point. Yeah. We, we have jeans. done jeans and pants. Two weeks ago. And we now have... we have reached the boots. That's what we're here for today. God, it's going it's too fast. Everything's going too fast. It is. October is going like, way too fast. A lot. My shirt of the day is this Happy Halloween jack-o'-lantern shirt. I just got this at Savers. I never go to Savers, you guys know that. And I did, so cute. I did pop into Savers for fun. And this is from 1990, which I love. Older than I so am. So it wasn't, me too. <laughs> so it wasn't in my Halloween couture video, but this is a new addition for this. I one. am in a good old classic. I have the green m and I love her. The classic horse bit white boots. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Look at her. Look at her cute little shoes. The controversial I'm waiting green for M &M. like Balenciaga to make these. Oh my gosh. Those like M iconic. boots, I would buy them. That'd be so amazing. No, it'd be like Marnie because it'd be an M. They probably do, honestly. They Something need similar. to do, um, do you remember like Chanel versus Walmart? That like Twitter yes trend they need to do one for a green m&m they do they need to do like a chanel versus walmart you know? so as usual we babbled <laughs> on too long as we and do and i do have one more quick thing to say so the schedule for this week is today's the boot bolo tomorrow the valentine's which once again a reminder there's like a little member joining button below and if you're interested we've been making bonus bolo videos for the members mm -hmm. they get eight extra bolos on wednesdays oh. after we do a bolo video so that tomorrow there will be the eight bolo bonus bolo boot Boots for members. Thursday. The bonus bolo boot. Thursday is a big day for Ryan. Ryan gets to take over the channel and do his solo haul. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so much fun. And then you I guys can wait. finally tell us who did better at the bins last week. <gasps> yeah, Saturdays, what's on Saturday, as usual. And actually, next Same Tuesday, thing. we don't have anything particularly scheduled. Mm. I mean, obviously, I'm sure we can come up with something. No. But it's the perfect opportunity if there's something fall or spooky, thrift or reselling related that you want to see. Let us know, because for right now, Tuesday is wide open. We're open to what you guys want to see. In two weeks, the bolos aren't fully, fully over, because we're done with the categories. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be doing spooky slash Halloween slash gothic bolos in two weeks. I love a Halloween video. Oh, uh, me too. We do one, like, every year, but we shockingly are able, each year, we kind of learn new spooky brands. There's mm -hmm. definitely some repeating, like Alexander McQueen is probably going to be on the list, because yeah. it has to be. But for the most part, we do have some new ones to tell you guys but those are let's the bolos we're it. here for today it's no. four minutes in and we haven't talked about any we so haven't mentioned a brand let's That's jump into it and the first brand for me is the one that i said i have sold this morning and it is a brand called joseph and it is in all caps usually stamped into the bottom joseph, my of, spoons, joseph. of the shoe so joseph is a british contemporary brand that was started in 1966 by a man named I bet you can guess. Brian. Joseph. Yeah. Jim. Bill. Joseph Atedgui. And I hope that I'm saying his last name right. Currently, Joseph brand has 23 stores, like brick and mortar stores globally. And then, of course, they have a large online presence. Mm -hmm. They do make men's and women's, which is interesting. I did not know that. I thought that they only made women's. They are currently run by two co-creative directors. So oh, Mr. Nice. Joseph, I think, has moved on. They're sold on Ukes, Farfetched, Outnet. They're also sold on Goop. I love the Goop. And website. they at least used to be sold at Anthro. I don't know if they're people 
pieces are still carried there now, but you will find old Anthrop model pictures of like older Joseph pieces. The retail on their boots is about 250 when they're on sale because mm. they can go on sale sometimes. To 950 and not- like, That's really expensive. Not on sale. They sit right around like 900 to 950. They're expensive. So it's really very expensive. expensive retail. Resale is about 100 to 300 and I just sold mine this morning for 300 so Look at that. Proof, there you go. Proof that you can get 300 for them. Easy they were very cute. You will see them in What's on Saturday. I'm not going to put a picture of them yet. So none of these were mine. We're going to carry and stick you. Yeah, you'll have to see on Okay, Saturday. so my first one is definitely, like, not that high-end. It's Bionic, which I feel like is definitely one that people have heard of. I've heard of it and sold it a few times myself. They were founded in 1979 by an Australian um, podiatrist. You always foot get doctor? The Aussies. I do. Is that a podiatrist? Foot doctor? Yes, Whatever. I believe. Um, Dr. Phil Vasil. Dr. Phil Phil Vasili, as I called him. It's based off of like surfing equipment and how they keep your feet on the board when you're like hanging ten. Hmm. Cowabunga. He was like, I'm gonna make a shoe brand that's comfortable but also quite stylish and it needs to look good and fit the needs of modern people but also keep people's feet comfortable. So he's like the Aussie Dr. Scholl. He kind of is, yeah. He's <laughs> very like the Dr. Scholl from down on that, which hmm. is, I think, interesting. They make men's and women's. They make a wide variety of like shoes in general, but people really like their boots because they're very comfortable. I have a ton of teacher friends that wear them all the time because they're not super expensive and they're good quality and they last forever. They're sold all over the place. Department stores, shoe stores, DCs, some special, like, DSW. you can kind of go to any place that sells shoes and there will most likely be a buy there <laughs> at some point in some yeah. capacity. Um, their boots retail for about 70 to 150, depending on like, are they leather, full leather, st like shaft height, whatever. Um, they resale for about 30 to 100 bucks. A lot of them, they actually sell very close to their retail. They do. They like really hold a lot of value, yes. which is nice. That is like, definitely, I'm all... that's definitely one of the ones that you are probably more likely to mm -hmm. just find in the thrift store. Yeah. My yeah, next brand is once again a higher end one that you probably won't see super frequently but if you do definitely grab it it's extremely expensive and they make very cute shoes it is a brand called Wandler not Wanderer Wandler W-A-N-D-L-E-R what's Wandler mean? Wandler Wandler they are committed to craftsmanship and quality as a lot of these luxury brands say they are they specialize in luxury leather goods so they do actually also make handbags but we are here to talk about the boots handbag. their whole thing is to be modern feminine and elegant. Me. That's like their three pillars. <laughs> when I describe myself to coworkers, those are the three words that I use. They also like a mix of minimal with like extravagant is I think the word they use. So literally extra. They were started in 2017 by Elsa Wandler. So that's where they get their name. Oh, okay. And they actually release six collections a year, which is kind of interesting. I wonder like how that is spaced out. I didn't really look it up, but... We're kind of dipping our toes into the fast I was going to say, it's weird. It's almost like... That's a lot. Six that's one every two months. Yeah, I was gonna say that's, that's actually a lot of a borderline ooh. between like fast fashion okay. and like slow. So she's high key fast fashion, which is interesting because they're very expensive. So it is not like fast fashion. I mean, she probably does like limited quantities. It's just Hopefully. a number of I hope Miss mm, Wandler. <laughs> so the retail on the shoes very high, four hundred and ninety five dollars to seven hundred and ninety five. So again, not fast fashion God, prices she's cranking at all. Them out, though. Yeah, and it's a young hmm. brand, 2017. The resale on them is about 100 to 300, and that is specifically for boots, but they are quite valuable. And they're very, very cute and trendy. So, I mean, by doing the six collections, I think she can stay on trend. She can stay trendy. Yeah. She can stay relevant. My next company brand is, they only make boots. They are very famous for their boots. The brand is Dan Post from Dan Post Cowboy Boots. It was founded in the mid 1960s. He founded his company, Mr. Dan Post. I don't like, I couldn't find a whole lot about them because I think it's like, there's not many people Googling like the whereabouts and the how to's of the Dan Post Cowboy Company. <laughs> um, I think the man, Dan Post is the founder. In the 60s, he really wanted to have like a good quality cowboy boot, but like not have it be really ugly, which I really appreciate because some cowboy boots clunky. He is is really like only sold at a couple of places. He's only sold on his own personal website, the Dan Post Cowboy Boot website. And then I wrote down cowboy stores, like <laughs> Boot Barn. I don't like, I only know Boot Barn. I don't know any of the other ones. I apologize. They retail, they are like kind of expensive. So they are definitely like a designer cowboy boot in terms of price. So they go from like 175 for some of the boots that like aren't 
super tall, like super cowboy boot, like more of a fashion-y. Um, it's like 400 bucks. But he does like custom stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can be like, hi, Mr. Dan Post. Um, and some of them can, fun. some of them can look like old gringos. Yes. Where they're more interesting, mm -hmm. like there's kind mm -hmm. of like a flower going up them. Yes. Or like turquoise yes, yes, accents. Yes. So stuff. it's like, he's kind of an elusive little dude. Because I really couldn't find a whole lot about him. But um, the custom ones, if you find them, are worth like much more than $400. Because they cost much more than $400. So they resale like 100 to 250 for like the ones that you'd most likely find in another store. My next brand is a brand called Paloma Barcelo or Paloma I'm Barcelo. I'm not 100% sure how it's pronounced, but it is a family run company, which is amazing. It still is. And it started off as one in 1960, oh, which nice. is great. That's super sweet. It was founded by Manuel Barcelo. And then it is then moved on to a second generation who is currently in charge. And it says on the website, soon to be third generation. So they must be in the process of like, this is how it works. Oh, time to nice. take over the family business. They have a focus on high quality and ethically sourced materials, oh which God. we love to Good hear. Stuff. They are focused on quality and expression and culture. So once again, they had like the three pillars, quality, expression, and culture. Love. They are more of like a love for basics type of brand. Like it's not ultra, ultra trendy and it's definitely not like pop of color, crazy embellishments mm -hmm. and stuff in your face, kind of like Paris, Texas or some of the damn oh, yeah. post boots mm -hmm. where it like has colors and stuff. It's very like plain but nice. And still like, they definitely still are trendy looking. It's just not like anything crazy. They are sold at Ukes, Revolve, Farfetch, and they also have been sold at Free People. They have a collaboration with them. Hmm. They retail for $450 to $550, and the resale is $100 to $300 about. I actually have a pair of their boots, and it is from the Free People collab. I have them listed at $365. Oh, those boots. I know which ones you're talking about. And mm -hmm. they are doing fantastic. They are They're adorable. doing great. Great. They're so cute. So definitely, definitely a bolo. They do make more than just boots and mm -hmm. all of their shoes, I would say, are bolos. And some of the sandals are also free people collaboration. Okay, so my next one is a little interesting. It's called Number Six. It is a company that was founded in 2005, and it was this, like, little small, like, ethically sourced boutique originally, which I think is super cute. And then they somehow just managed into, like, whittling their own shoes. Which is funny. So if you find them, you will probably find a pair of clogs. They are known for their clogs. They're like clogged sandals and the clog boots. It's that like handmade wooden style that they then like attach. So like Swedish clog. Yeah, and they're all handmade. Like every single pair is to this day still handmade and they wouldn't say what part of Sweden. Somewhere. They're like, they're made in Sweden. We're not gonna tell you where, but they're there. So they are very, very, very like ethically like conscious of like where's the wood coming from? Who's making them? Where, like, where's this leather? Where's this wool coming from? Which was super nice. Their shoes are also like built to last. Like, these wooden clogs, they are not gonna be here for a reason or a season. They're gonna be here for a lifetime. Um, they are sold on their own website, places like ShopBop. I didn't really see a ton of them on, like, the in-person stores. But, like, they were on the Nordstrom website, they were on the Saks website. They were on all these different, like, really high-end department store online. I don't know about, like, the in-store. They retail for about 300 to 450 so they are a little bit pricey, but they are also handmade. And they resale for about 100 to 300 And Real World takes this brand, and they do quite well. I can say. Okay, so my next brand has a quite interesting name. And it's also quite a funky, interesting company. Oh, we, got, is, a, we got a couple of zingers it, coming up here. It is called The Last Conspiracy. That is the name of the brand. When we talk about these bougie brands having like out there kind of like verbiage and like or with, funky Like sayings, mottos. Or who's the one that, the, this, the purse brand? This is like the epitome. Like the example the this is the one that everybody took the page out of the book yeah from. um i didn't write any of it down but i do invite you to go to their website and read some of it it's seriously like the human form has only begun to evolve and shift and thus these shoes must be created to giveth thine power like it is it is <laughs> like a new level it's not huh? it's not like there were like the word human was in there like for in like human form and stuff it was quite interesting but anyways back to like the reality of the brand all of their shoes are handmade the reality of the brand <laughs> back on earth <laughs> all of the shoes are handmade still handmade kind of like number six like mm -hmm. all of them are handmade and they pay very close attention to detail kind of like That's things fun. you read on all of these bougie mm -hmm. brands they are all made to last forever so once again very similar to 
at number six. Mm -hmm. This brand does make men's and women's, and they are a mix of pork. They are a mix of Portuguese craftsmanship and Nordic minimalism. That's like the one sentence I could understand on their like. That about seems me. like a very niche. Yeah. Clash of these cultures. ones. I will say the styles and stuff are probably my least favorite of these. They're not very trendy. They kind of give me lag and look. They are sold on Ukes, some website called Commonplace, which gives me like that vibe, and their own website. So there's not like a ton of places to get these. So if you're chomping at the bit to find them, I guess just go right to their website or something. <laughs> they retail at $350 to $550. So they're definitely very, very expensive. And the resale is $125 to $250. 50. That's not bad. Yeah, good resale mm -hmm. value. It's, mm -hmm. I assume it's like the quality's there. Like, because again, <laughs> it's just not my taste and style. I it looks like look nice leather. I'm excited. Like, I want to look them up but on I, this video. But again, over. I do invite all of you to go read their like meet the brand or about us little page. It was interesting. Okay, so my next one is in that same vein of like real weird mentality to like sell people's shoes. It's called Ivy Lee. It's this woman's name. And Miss Ivy Lee was like, there are no shoes perfect for women, so I will create my own. She's kind of, she's a foot woman. Her, on the website, it says a woman's foot is the most aesthetic part of the body. Oh, so she's like actually a foot woman. She's like a foot women and the shoes not my personal style I, I think i've had a pair before they're a little out there they're a little for like an aesthetic foot it's like a sawed off like snow boot I'm like you can't even see your foot what the heck the suit is saved after miss ivy lee she founded her company in 2016 focusing on comfort design practicality and style the practicality i get they look comfortable the style questionable but <laughs> <laughs> she has this huge focus on affordability sustainability and accessibility so like she wants people to be able to afford her shoes and she is very like, and I think I talk about this in the next one, and then one of the brands on the Valentine videos. Yeah, have you ever heard that euphemism of like, buy one really good pair of shoes, have them for a lifetime, mm -hmm. buy five bad pairs of shoes, and they'll run out in a month? Like, she's very like that mentality of like, get one nice shoe, have it forever. She's really like super interested in like like vintage leathers, so she'll find other shoes and like repurpose them and like turn them into something else, which I think is super cool. That's good. Those are expensive. The vintage ones that she updates and like redoes are like pushing five hundred dollars. She's kind of like elusive as to where you can buy her. She's only really sold on her website and a few other like. Like smaller online boutiques that I'd never heard of and like I didn't think had any kind of like name recognition. Um, they retail for about 180 to 500. Some of the boots that like are a little bit more like boring are like the 180 and then like the vintage ones are like pushing past 500 so they're kind of pricey. Um, and they resale for about 150 to 300 dollars. I have had one pair and I guess mine must have been the one that just didn't look like the rest of them. Mine were like some suede like leopard print boots. Like they weren't awful. They weren't, I mean there's nothing like crazy about them but they kind of just like, I wouldn't say they were hideous. No, she has some new ones that are like, <laughs> They look like little, like, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man shoes. Hmm. Hopefully Editing Jack put a picture of that in because I'm very please curious. Do. Please, 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 please do. So my next and final brand for this Bolo video is a brand that actually some of you might have heard of. I know a lot of mine are, like, super high-end, but this one is definitely high-end, but I feel like... A Back bit, down to the rest of us. ...a bit more common, <laughs> and it actually references another brand that I know we all know. So this brand is Alexander Berman, and like I said, I'm sure many of you have heard his name before. Mm -hmm. Women's shoes are his... His life passion. On their About the Brand page, it was actually a video of him. It was like 100 seconds, learn my life or something. Oh my god, do they like follow him around? And his, no, he's just I like sitting that. there. And his first line is like, my life passion has always been a woman's shoe. And I was like, interesting. Okay. That's niche. Good. So he founded his first brand at 18. And get this, you know her, you love her. The brand is Shoots. At eight, can you imagine having at 18, a company? This man at founded Shoots, and Shoots is a huge name in shoes. People like love that's People crazy. Love the shoes. They're so cute. Shoots, if you don't know, I would almost kind of relate it to like Jeffrey Campbell. Yeah, it's, it's like a mid tier. You can buy them at the mall. They're at, cute though. It's at Nordstrom and probably some lo slightly lower end. As in, like, Lord and Taylor. Yeah, and I'm Macy's thinking, like, if you're stuff. familiar, like, Von Mar. Yeah, thing. but they're pretty expensive, mm -hmm. not like insane, 
but they keep their value a lot of the times, mm-hmm. and some of them are, like, rare and, like, yeah. almost go up in value, kind of like Jeffrey Campbell. Um, then at 31, he founded another shoe brand, and it's Alexander Berman. What Alexander we are here Berman? To talk about. How old is she? He is now 46. If he founded it when he was 18. I know. It's sh- been around for, like, a long time. I know. I'm like, wow, Shoots hmm. is older than I thought. But he is now 46, so this all happened quite a while ago. He is actually a Brazilian designer, and Alexander Berman is known for their exotic leather usage. So they use croc, ostrich, lizard, and other things like that. They are sold on Revolve, Saks, Bloomies, DSW, actually. There was a couple pairs. So kind of all over the place. I love thinking of, like, one of those moms using her, like, 10 off of 30 DSW. To get, like, a very high-end Alexander shoes. Berman's. <laughs> the retail on them is 200 to 900. 200 is, like, the DSW ones that mm-hmm. they probably sent to, like, discontinue and discount. Gotta move those out. But retail and newer styles and stuff, very, very expensive. The resale on them is about 100 to 400. So his shoes really kind of depend on the style. I feel like the They're leather like, would also have something to do with that. Yeah, Like, probably. if it's an exotic skin, like, that tends to be yeah, really expensive. I was like, oh my gosh, Shoots and Alexander Berman are, like, the same. That's just cool to me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so my final one is definitely, like, minimalism at its finest. It's Common Projects. I feel like most people in the reselling community have heard of Common Projects before. They definitely still have a really good resale value and people still really like them. So they were founded by Italians. I do not know how to say the names. I didn't even try. I just wrote by Italians. (laughs) It was two of them. In New York in 2004, which 2004? Like, they've been around for a long time and I feel like I didn't know about them until, like, five years ago. They started to create luxury. Right around, like, when opening ceremony came out. That kind of makes Yeah, Mm -hmm. I can see that. Mm -hmm. They started because they wanted a luxury shoe that like didn't scream luxury shoe. You know, they wanted like the quality and they wanted the craftsmanship, but they just wanted it to be like, I'm wearing this to work today. He goes to work and he's like, I want to make a converse, but... I want to sell it to people for $450. That's kind of it, though. Like, they took inspiration... <laughs> uh, don't we all? Like, what? They took inspiration from, like, the Adidas, um, the Superstar, a Nike blazer, I think is, the, like, the one everybody wears now. Like, these basic, like, very not super exciting shoes. He was like, I'm gonna make that and I'm gonna charge you an ungodly amount of money. I have heard they're also very comfortable though. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I have heard very good things about them. Um, So they take inspiration from a ton of different sports shoes and they don't really ever kind of deviate from like basic sneakers, basic boots. Like it's very white sneaker, black boot, brown boot. That's kind of it. You don't, there's no frill. There's no frill. So this is interesting though. I did know um, one of their big hallmarks is they have this like outside branding. You didn't know that? No, on the side of the shoe. So this is what I'm gonna say. I didn't know what that meant because it's four letters four numbers two numbers four more the first four are the shoe code like the name of the shoe it's like the little style code the next two are the size and then the two after that is the color code hmm. so you can like if you're a common projects nerd you can like look at people's shoes and be like that's the this shoe and the this color and this size hmm. fun they are very 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 common you can kind of find them in a lot of like different design <laughs> Common, <laughs> common projects. And it's funny because the Italians that made this brand named it Common Projects because they figured out they were doing a lot of common projects together. They're sold at a lot of places. Nordstrom, Bloomies, Ukes, pretty much any designer in-store, website. They're kind of all over the place. They're very, 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 very popular with men, I would say, over women. Men's common projects, if you like, you would find them a lot more than you would find women's. They're expensive. They're very expensive. They retail for about 400 to 500 and they resale for about 250 to 400 So they do still, like, hold a fair amount of value for being, like, a white leather sneaker which is good. I feel like those can go on sale though sometimes too. Yes, they so. do. Do not buy them full price. They will yeah. be on sale. <laughs> go to Poshmark. So, I was going to say that's all the bolos we have for you, but it's not. We do have eight more bolo brands to share with the Valentines tomorrow on Wednesday if you are part of that. But if not, I was going to say we'll see you on Thursday, but I'd be wrong about that too because Ryan will see you all I alone. will see you all on Thursday. It's going to be so much fun. We're yeah. going to have a great time. If I catch you bad mouthing me. Can you imagine? It's just like the dump on Jack hour. Like, He's like, we're going to pretend we're going to haul, but we're just going to... I'm just showing Jack things, and I'm like, God, isn't he just the dumbest person? <laughs> He's just so stupid. Nothing yeah. he ever gets sells. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, we'll see you guys on Thursday. It's going to be a good one. If you're a Valentine, we will see you tomorrow. Be sure to let us know below what you guys want to see next Tuesday, because yes. we're totally open to taking your suggestions. And if you're going to say a Depop video, we do have one coming up. But that's, formulating. That's going to be after October, because we're kind of trying to stick to like the fall type mm-hmm. stuff right now and then we'll kick back into like the normal just whatever we want to talk about situation we will see you guys on someday this week someday
Goodbye. Thank you.